It's hard to tell when I'm around, because I feel like uh, if people can speak English at all, and they notice that I'm speaking English, they will speak English to me, you know? So from what I can, what I see here is that people are pretty comfortable going back and forth. Um, but I don't know what the percentage is because I feel like people are catering to my um, English speaking. <laughs> I've heard that a lot actually since I've been in South Africa. You know, this person is a less cultured African because they can't speak the, their language. Even people that are, like, are from here, or they don't speak their language well, or, you know? You know, I believe in self-determination, so... And on a smaller level, independence. And I think there are some countries in Africa that are quite independent. And there's some that seem more reliant on the West. Um, or sometimes not even reliant, but sometimes just like really caring about what the West thinks of them. Um, I don't, I mean, you know, it's a, a huge continent, so it's hard to say what all the troubles are. The troubles are very different and very different pla in different places. But I do believe in self-determination. I think that's the only way to get freedom. And then that doesn't mean to, uh, to not be a part of the world, obviously, but to, to partner with the world or with the other people and places and that sort of thing. You know? Waking up the sleeping giant. I think nothing is perfect. Nothing that people make is perfect, including this breakfast. But, um, so I don't, I'm not like one of those democracy is the perfect way type of people. I grew up in a democratic society, so that's what I understand, and that's what I'm most comfortable with. But I don't have any experience outside of that. So it's hard for me to say, what, again, it's like, it's hard for me to say whether it's working or not, because it depends very much on what, where, what country you're talking about and this sort of thing. Well, I'm a, I'll call her back. Um, but yeah, nothing is, nothing is, per, nothing is perfect, you know? Some of what I heard about the political situation in Rwanda and the way that the money is handled and that sort of thing. It feels like they're doing well. But it's hard to tell because I don't have much of a context other than having conversations with people. Yeah. Louder than your false religion that warps the truth inside our hearts and I say wake up wake up wake up yes I do think continental and diasporic Africans should maintain connections with each other because they're essentially the same people in different places I think um, African, African Canadians, African Americans, African South Americans, Afro Caribbean people uh, have just been separated from something, and um, I, I do think it's important for them to connect. Screaming out for revolution Is it not the time 